three Bureau Flying's have come in. I read you, Admiral, over. We're not picking up the cloud on our instruments. Uh, what luck do you have? Any? It's out there, all right. It's about uh, 25 miles dead ahead. Mm. All right, circle it. Uh, get radiation readings and full camera coverage. Start your cameras now. Cameras are on. I keep them rolling. But don't make contact with the cloud itself, you understand? Anything unusual happens, you'll let me know. Will do. Out. Washington. Are you at the cloud yet, Nelson? Yes, sir. We have it in sight. You're still convinced that this is the cause of all the disasters? Well, there's no question about it. Ever since that cloud suddenly appeared in the Pacific three weeks ago, unbelievable catastrophe has struck the world. We're, we're being torn apart. All instruments show that the cloud is the center of the shock waves. Well, Captain Graham is circling up in the flying sub right now. On the basis of his findings, we'll take action. Now, just remember, we've sent a dozen ships and planes into that cloud and never heard from them again. And we've had no luck penetrating it with our heaviest nuclear weapons. What, what, what was that, sir? That's another earthquake. 24 hours. That's how long our computers give us before our planet disintegrates completely. Now, I understand you've taken only a skeleton crew because this could be a suicide mission. You're our last hope. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Underwater earthquake, Admiral. Force 8. That keeps up. Well, it's not going to. As soon as we hear from the flying sub, we're moving against that cloud. FS1 to see you. FS1 to see you. Come in. Come in. Leslie, what is it? I'm out of control. I don't know what it is, but uh, something's pulling me into the cloud. Well, fight it. Once you pull down there, you'll... I'm trying, Admiral, but I can't. I can't fight it. There's no way to maneuver out. There's no way to maneuver out. Lee, what's happening? What's happening? Can you hear me? What's going on with it? Center on the double. Right, Chief. Everything seems A-OK -okay here. I check our bearing, make sure we're still headed straight for the cloud, then all head flank. Aye. Yeah. Sea view to Washington Control. Sea view to Washington Control. Yes, Admiral. We're approaching the area where we go under the cloud. May interfere with communications. Has Captain Crane reported his findings yet? We lost uh, contact with him, sir. I see. 
Any uh, change of conditions there? They're worsening rapidly. Half the major cities in the southern hemisphere are in ruins. Contact me as soon as you know anything definite. Aye, right, sir. Set our contact dead ahead. Range 300 yards. Barrier speed. Zero two zero degrees. Flank speed. Right under those for entry under the cloud, sir. Full sonar radar, 360 degrees. Why, sir? Seaview to Washington Patrol. Seaview to Washington Patrol. No, nothing here either. Let's try the numbers. How could that cloud be underwater? More important is the fact that we're still outside. There must be some kind of a, of a barrier that's stopping us cold. Control room from engineering. Control room from engineering. Come in, please. This is the exec, Kowalski. What's the damage report? I can't tell you, sir. What does that mean? Everything checks out A-OK, -okay, sir. I'd say there was no damage sustained at all except for one thing. There's no response to the control. That's right, sir. You might say everything's working, but nothing's working. Oh, will you tell him to get back up here unless he can locate the trouble? Well, we've got to work out a whole new plan of attack. Get back up here to your duty station if you can't make repairs. Aye, sir. Anything? I'm afraid not, sir. We did, like you said, we made a 360-degree sweep and nothing. Hmm. Now, check all indicator readings. Radiation, heat sensors, ultraviolet, everything. Aye, yes, sir. Uh... Sir. Yeah. Uh, what about Captain Crane? What about him? Well, what we know about the uh, cloud, uh, what do you think his chances are? Uh, what, uh, what do you think? I'll check out the instruments, sir. Yeah. Up. She's coming in on our homing device. That's the flying sub, all right. If that's one deceive you, if that's one deceive you, you read me over. Coming in loud and clearly. You all right? Yes, uh, just fine, Admiral. No problems. I uh, just wanted to alert you that I'm, uh, I'm approaching the birthing area. You still inside the cloud? Uh, yes, um, but uh, there aren't any problems at all. Good, bring her aboard. Aye, sir. But if we couldn't penetrate that cloud, how's he going to get out? Well, we'll worry about that if, if it happens. Now, get ready to bring her aboard. because the sea view couldn't get inside. Everything's all right. What's the matter? I'm fine. Clean. You okay? Well, why shouldn't I be? The uh, cloud is uh, nothing more than a, a whirlwind inside. 
I, uh, the air currents pulled me in. I was knocked out by the buffeting, and, uh, when I came to, uh, I returned here to the sea view. Well, there must have been more to it than that. No, not a thing. Well, there couldn't be just wind inside the cloud. What about the earthquakes, tidal waves, volcanoes? Half the world is being shattered, and Washington says the cloud is the center of all the force waves. I don't care what Washington says. I was there, and there's nothing but wind and mist. All, all right, all right. Just whatever happened, you've still been through a rough time. As soon as you get the film, you better go to your cabin and have a rest. Film? What film? You... You were turning the cameras, weren't you? Oh, f yeah, of course I was for a minute. I forgot. I'll, uh... I'll get it out and develop it myself. Sure, you're okay. I'm fine, Chip. Thanks. Don't worry about a thing. Something's wrong with him. No, no, no. But still, I, I think you better get down there and give him a hand. All right, sir. Admiral, can you, Mr. Morton, come here for a minute, please? Well, what is it, Chief? We're getting some dangerous readings on the heat sensors. I think you better check them out. Transmitter and receiver in the country trying to contact Seaview. They're our last possible hope. Yes, sir. Get moving. You are doing well. So far, they suspect nothing. But they will. We can't keep this up indefinitely. There is no need. In a few hours, their world will be gone. Then why is all this necessary? They do possess some small scientific attributes with which we are not familiar. It is an opportunity to study, to learn. We shall take advantage of it. Very well. It'll be done as you say. But what if they do begin to suspect? You have weapons. Weapons they cannot cope with. Employ them. Even now, they are planning something. Begin your work. There is little time and much for you to do. The heat sensors in the nose verify the temperature reading, sir. Well, that seems impossible. The register is 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit outside the sea view. The readings must be correct. Instruments verify them. Well, that's hot enough to turn almost anything known into flaming gas. We're still intact. But we must be protected by some kind of a buffer. Chief, see if you can get an exact fix on the source of the heat. Aye, right, sir. Well, the heat bearing is... Zero to zero degrees. The cloud. Hmm. The range is about 3,000 yards, sir. That's the best I can read it. That's approximately the center of the cloud. I think we're beginning to get some answers. Intense heat like this could not only cause the earthquakes and the volcanic eruptions, it could actually vaporize the Earth's crust. But the flying sub only ran into wind inside that cloud. I wonder. Lee, Lee must have felt some of that heat. The instruments are... By the way, where is he? He should be back here with that film by now. I better check out. He didn't seem right to me when he came aboard. Yeah. Well, sir, what do we do about all this? Uh, cloud outside, the, the heat, and the things happening topside of the world? Well, simple. We go inside the cloud and find out what's going on. 
<laughs> well, so that is, that will be fine, but uh, we did try that once before, remember? Yes, but we have a key to unlock that barrier. Sir? Heat seat and torpedoes. Now go down to the missile room and arrange a spread of four of them for firing. I get it. The heat inside could pull them through that barrier, could bust it wide open for us. That is the idea. Now, now, get moving. Right, sir. Sir? Mm-hmm. Um, sir, just, uh, just one more thing. Uh, uh -huh. what is it? Now, what happens if this thing does work and we do bust into the heat? What happens to Seaview? Well, that is what we're going to find out, right? Yes, sir, I guess we will. <laughs> Positive. It was burning on the table in the flying sub before the quake hit us. No sign of Lee. None. Uh, Patterson. <clears throat> yes, sir. Captain Crane's somewhere we're aboard. Find him and tell him to report to me here on the double. Aye, sir. Uh, any suggestion as to where I might start? No, none. And just, just find him. Aye, sir. We've got our power back. Test the controls. Controls are operative. Uh, Patterson. Yes, sir. Try the um, secretary room first. Yes, sir. Escape! Escape! What happened to you? 
Oh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You were lying here out cold. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was. I... Hey. Hey, that's right. I was I was coming along the corridor to check the circuitry room, and all of a sudden the lights went out. Uh, must have been the quake. Quake? Yeah, we were tossed around by one. Must have slammed you against the bulkhead and knocked you out. Uh, maybe, but I don't remember anything about it. Well, what's the difference? You're okay now, aren't you? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Good. Come on with me. I gotta find the skipper. The Admiral thinks he might be in the circuitry room. Skipper? When did he get back aboard? Well, I'll fill you in on the way. Come on. Uh, what in blazes was that? That wasn't a quake. That felt more like someone horsing around the Seaview controls. We better find the skipper. <laughs> I don't know, sir. It seems though someone had taken them over for a moment. They seem to be operating all right now. All right. If the torpedoes open away under the cloud, move through it at flank speed, right? All right, sir. Missile room of the torpedoes ready for firing. The warheads are primed, sir. Torpedoes ready to be loaded. But I could use a hand to get them home in the tube, sir. I'll be right down. Have to be ready to fire in five minutes. All right, sir. The Admiral said he wants you to report to the control room right away. Did he say why? No, sir. Just that it was urgent. All right. You two men come with me. We're going to the missile room. But, sir, the Admiral said he wanted you to go to the control room. I said to the missile room, sailor. Let's go. Aye, sir. What are you doing there, Chief? Oh, sir. Just following the Admiral's orders. He wants these torpedoes loaded. Belay it. Sir? I said belay it. We're not going to fire those torpedoes. Are you countermanding my orders? That's right. The torpedoes are not going to be fired. Well, we'll discuss this later. You join Mr. Morton in the control room. There's nothing to discuss. I've made the decision. The torpedoes will not be fired. Chief, you place the captain under arrest, escort him to his quarters. Aye, aye, sir. If you will come with me, sir. If you will go with me to your quarters, sir, I'm sure we can... Patterson, go on, Steve. Hold it, hold it. Who are you? Commander Lee Crane, captain of this ship. No. No, whoever you are, you're not Lee Crane. What you believe doesn't matter. You're helpless. You can't escape us. Us, huh? Must have come from that cloud. But whatever you are, you're not going to stop us from firing those torpedoes. Mr. 
there's an emergency in the missile. What happened? Uh, it's the, uh, the skipper, sir, Captain Crane. He, uh, he... What's the matter with the captain? Why, he, uh, uh... Well, that is, uh, there was uh, something going on that, um... Uh... What was the something that was going on? What kind of emergency? Come on, tell me. I I'm not sure, sir. I... Patterson, what happened on there? What's it all about? Uh... I, I, I can't remember now either, sir. Uh, I know we were hurrying up here. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. All I know is that it was something important. But I just can't seem to remember. Get arms from the locker on the double. We'll find out what's going on down there. Mr. Rumley's the exec. What's going on down there? Acknowledge, please. Missile room, acknowledge what's going on down there, over. All right, let's, let's go. This is the chief. We've got an emergency down here in the missile room. You better get here faster. Chief, <laughs> we heard you on the way. Uh, Skeep. Patterson, what? Where? Where's the I... Admiral and Captain Crane? I don't know, sir. I just, I just came to here and I... They're just... All right. Until we find this procedure scheduled, get those torpedoes loaded. We're still going to try to blast into that cloud. All right, sir. Well, what happened to number two torpedo? I don't know, sir. I, I, I just don't know. All right, let's 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 get them loaded. I. Sir. What is this? What is this place? Anybody here? Do you hear me? Where am I? You are with us, Earthling. You are here in our domain. Where are you? I... I am here beside you. Why don't you make yourself visible to me? I am visible. It is only your eyes that do not wish to see. But that is easily corrected. If you want to see, merely look. Ah, so that's what you look like. Not really. But it is as close to what we are as human mind can stand. All right, obviously you're, you're alien. Obviously the cloud is of your making, and just as obviously, you intend to destroy the Earth. Well, why, why are you so considerate of my feelings? You are an unusually interesting specimen of human, as are the others with you. We wish to make a study before your final disposal. Thank you. That's, that's very kind of you. In the meantime, you're destroying the Earth unless you stop whatever it is you're doing. That is unfortunate for you. Just, just what are you doing? But why? Look. That is the world we come from. So we are doing to you. Extracting the metals from your earth with the forces inside this cloud. Till the Earth disintegrates. Perhaps. Unless we stop you. Still prepared to defy us, even though the cause is hopeless. Well, they're still alive, and Sea View still exists. And I shall return you to her. It will be amusing to watch your futile attempt to do battle with 
the masters of the universe. Wait, wait. Uh, yes? Uh, Lee Crane, that, that man you changed into, into well, something. Where is he? He is here with us. We are making a study of him, learning what passes for thought process in the human mind. Why not uh, send him back with me? Why should we? You've, you have no need for him. At least, uh, at least you might let us all die together. I will consider. Report to the control room. I hear this is Nelson. I want all personnel aboard to report to me at once in the control room. All personnel aboard, report to me at once in the control room. Where did you just come from? From the flying sub, of course. You you sent me to get the film I took of a cloud. Remember? Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Remember a lot of other things as well. I'd like to know where you came from and exactly who you are. <sighs> Believe me, Admiral, I don't know what you're talking about. Chip said you'd come down here. And uh, I wanted to talk to you. Why is the chief loading the torpedoes? What's going on here, chief? Just following the admiral's orders. He wants these torpedoes loaded. Belay it. Sir? I said belay it. We're not going to fire those torpedoes. Are you... Are you countermanding my orders? That's right. The torpedoes are not going to be fired. Automatic timing devices are locked into place. All right, 
right, men. Get them loaded. All right, men. Lend a hand. Let's ram these fish home. Admiral, uh, do you want to track them from here? No, I want to check all available instruments when the torpedoes impact on the cloud. Contact me in the control room when you're ready to fire. Aye, sir. Are you sure there was no time lapse after I left it? Well, not more than a few minutes, no, sir. Uh, and nothing happened? Huh? Nothing unusual, nothing out of the ordinary until I got back. No, sir, I, I felt dizzy for a minute there, but that must have been because of the underwater quakes, but that's all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's the matter? Is something strange going on? Well, it's more than strange. I think that we are being... Torpedoes, one, two, three, four. Ready to fire, sir. I stand by the firing command. Now, you know what to do if the torpedoes break through the cloud barrier. Move us into the center of that thing at flying speed, aye, sir. All set. study. Give them exactly 20 more minutes. Then the forces destroying the earth will be irreversible. At that time, you will also destroy them. I will. Extent of the damage. Yes, sir. <sighs> Give me that last damage report. All details complete. And the latest estimate as to the time limitation of the probability of our survival. What about the sea view? Let me have an immediate answer, please. Come in! Come in! All right, now, stand by for orders and keep us posted immediately on any change in the situation. Right? The latest figure, sir. You know what this means, don't you? Yes, sir. At the rate the damage is building, the increase in force of our own natural disasters. 30 minutes. That's what this whole thing boils down to. 30 minutes. And then the world as you and I know it will be destroyed. What about the sea view, sir? Any hope there? Any word from her? How can there be? We can't even get in touch with our own communications people anymore. How can they reach the sea view? As for hope, I... Well, I guess that's our answer. There can be no more hope. Missile room. Missile room, this is the exec. 
The Admiral's badly hurt. I need help up here. Acknowledge. Acknowledge! He was rammed into the wiring over there. It must be acute electrical shock. Then why aren't you taking care of him? What are you doing there? His orders were to enter the cloud at flank speed if we blasted the barrier. If we didn't, we are. I'm sorry I didn't understand. I'll try to help him. Well, what was he going to do if... if we got into the cloud? He must have had some idea in mind, but he, he didn't brief me on it. Try to bring him around. We'll find out what it was. I'll see what I can do. Lee, I, I just thought the missiles, if we can... What are you? Stay where you are. Metal? You're not Crane. You're a thing from that cloud. Who you are, what you really are. You take one more step and I'll blast you. You. With your puny weapons. Do you think you can hurt me? Work. We're inside the cloud. We're dead in the water again. Lee's responsible for that. Well, not Lee exactly. That is the. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He, he's one of them. How do you know? And he tried to wipe my mind clear of what they did before, but it, it, it didn't work. Where is he now? Well, he got away. The laser gun hurt him, but it didn't stop him. Find him. Arm yourself with anything you can, but find the man and stop him. What are you going to do now? I'm going to fire every missile aboard under that cloud. help down here in the missile room. Control room, can you read me? We need some help down here. Patterson is hurt. Come in. Come in. Chief, this is the exec. The Admiral's on his way down there now. Stand by to fire missiles. Stand by to fire missiles. Aye, sir. How's the wing, kid? It'll do. You heard the exec. Come on, let's get to those missiles. Well, 
I'd better do it. Feed the power, Chief. Aye, sir. Five thousand votes in that. Don't worry, sir. I'll handle it as carefully as my grandmother's egg basket. Huh? Uh, another underwater quake, sir. Uh, yes, well, there's no time left. Will you put the plug in? Yes, sir. Ratings are all green, sir. Missile's ready to fire. Kowalski said delayed action time for one minute. Yes, sir. All set, sir. Fire. Sir. Mm hmm Being this close to a nuclear detonation, I, uh... What I mean, sir, is, uh... Those missiles aren't exactly cap guns. I... I guess we've all had it. Just hope the Earth hasn't. Yeah, well... If we bust up the cloud, people, I suppose it'll be... well, well worth it. You haven't yet, and you won't. We only let you live this long to learn your nuclear secrets, such as in your missiles. Where I come from, such things don't exist. But now that I know it... I'll reverse the power through your nuclear controls. just flown out of it again, and it's gone. All right, let's find Chip and get underway. We've got a long report to make to Washington. Uh, you know. <laughs> I wonder how much of it they're going to believe. <laughs> <laughs> 